Okay, here we are. Um, back in the studio. Not the same studio as before. A lot has changed since our last video, but we don't really have time for that. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's do what we came to do. What we're here to talk about is this. It's here. Finally, after all this time, the M1 Max MacBook Pro um, 16 inch is finally here, and I got it. Um, we're not gonna fluff this up. We're not gonna um, talk about the teraflops and the jiggly wops and all of that. No, 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 no. Um, we're gonna just talk about what the practical uses are for people like me, maybe people like you, content creators. Um, the fact of the matter is, I've been without a laptop since July. Um, my previous laptop was stolen and I waited all this time because I knew that something new would be coming out and here we are. So without any further ado, I will be unboxing the new 16 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip. Um, 32 gigs of unified memory. Uh, I think the price tag on this one is $34.99 from Apple. And I would like to be transparent in saying that I did not get sent this by Apple. This product was actually purchased with my hard earned money. Um, and actually I had to wake up at the crack of dawn to get my hands on this computer because they're sold out all throughout New York City. Every single Apple store in New York City does not have this. These are gone in both colors. Um, and for those of you that aren't aware of the sheer amount of Apple stores in New York City, there is World Trade Center, West 14th Street, Soho, uh, Union Square, oh, not, sorry, not New Union Square, Grand Central, Fifth Avenue, Upper West Side, Upper East Side, uh, the Bronx store, Westchester store, two stores in Brooklyn, and nobody has them, but I got them. Um, this is not going to be a traditional uh, influencer unboxing. Uh, we're not going to keep it cute. We're going to be honest. We're going to be real. I'm going to let you guys know what I think. And without further ado, here we go. First things first, I love the fact that Apple um, Im implemented this with the 2018 MacBook Pros, but they haven't changed it. So here we are. Boom. Nice big plastic rip. We go ahead and open this bad boy up. Uh, plastic, thin, lots of waste. Don't need it. Here we are. Ooh, okay. Still with the slow timed release. This looks good. Uh, first things first, what you see when you open up the box is that there's like a circle. I don't know if you guys can see it there. There's like a circle around the apple. I've never seen that before. That's something new. Um, and for those of you that don't know me, I'm going to give you guys a little insider information. I used to work at the fruit stand. Put one and one together because I'm not going to give you any more of a direct um, answer than that. Here goes the MacBook. Um, off rip, it feels square. It feels boxy, feels bigger. And to be honest with you, as a 15, 16 inch pro user for more than five years, this is obvious, honestly the heaviest 16 inch MacBook Pro that I've handled since the unibody started when they used to have the disk drive. Something to think about, um, especially considering they went through that big issue with um, thermal throttling. Um, and they didn't want to make the laptop bigger, but they essentially made it bigger. That's how we got stuck with 16 inches. Neither here nor there. What else is in the box? So, uh, welcome, a uh, 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 whole bunch of stuff that doesn't matter. Nope, don't need that. Uh, here we have it. The return of the MagSafe. The MagSafe, I don't know what number they're calling this. Maybe this is MagSafe 3, because the last one was MagSafe 2. It has a braided cable, which is a new um, addition from Apple. And it's actually great because your cable shouldn't fray as often as they did with the lightning cables or the previous cables. But um, inside a trip from someone that used to work at the fruit stand, the way you make sure that your cables survive is that you never pull from the cable. You always pull from the plastic. That's why in previous renditions, they've actually started making the plastic longer so that you don't fray your cables. But yeah, MagSafe, um, I guess three cable. Let, you heard it here first. New charging brick. This charging brick is oblong, I guess that's the best way to say it. Yeah, it um, it kind of looks like one of the last sidekicks in terms of shape. Uh, but look, what is the wattage on this thing? Hold on. Okay, they um, changed the way that you open it. And all the opening paper now is like frosted. That's pretty cool. 140 watts. The last one was like 80-something or 90-something. So this is super fast. Uh... 
Of course, it's going to charge the computer faster with the fast charging. Uh, sorry, with the fast charging MagSafe. But uh, I wonder what this is going to do for my cell phone when I'm running late and I just need a little bit of juice. I'll come back to you about that later. But like I said, no fluff. I'm not going to throw this, though. Uh, box, not needed. Meat and potatoes. <sighs> so much waste and paper. Um, 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro. Here we go. Open it. Boom. Uh, something that I just saw upon opening, which I think is cool as hell, is that they're not using plastic anymore. I don't think this is plastic. It feels more like it is. It's paper, um, so less waste. And uh, the first thing you see when you open up the MacBook is. Oh, I, there's like some shit on my laptop, some stuff. Uh, I'll show you, hold okay, on. Okay, so boom, we switch real quick to handheld mode. Um, and here we are. Let me see if we can get this as clear as possible. Uh, first thing I'm noticing on my new MacBook is a speck of some shit um, stuck onto my um, computer and I don't like it. Sorry about the wobbly camera, but yeah. So this is not coming off. And this is what sucks when it comes down to buying a new computer and they're sold out because Apple is for the fanboys, including myself. But let's not get lost in the woods. All right, here we are. Uh, brand new M1 uh, MacBook Pro, uh, M1 Max MacBook Pro 16 inch. Um, this is super cool. This new engraving on the bottom of the MacBook. Um, you get your serial number down there, won't show you for too long. And then back to the unboxing. So yeah, boom. Uh, have it. Paper. Don't need it. Here we are. Okay. I like it. It feels old though. It feels classic. It feels like the black and white 15 inch MacBook Pro. You remember when you could get the black one if you spend a little bit more bread, upped it up, man. That's what this feels like, but it's um, all aluminum. Again, this is very strange that I have this scratch on the back of my thing here. I don't know what's going on with that, but that circle that I saw on the front of the laptop was actually not on the laptop. That was actually on the packaging. Apple, again, killer with the packaging. They never miss. Why would I expect anything less? Um, without any further ado, let's get to it. And boom, it's open. We pull it. Oh, that's jiggy. I won't hold you. That's super jiggy. The minute I opened the laptop up, it turned on by itself. Um, off rip, the trackpad feels substantially larger. I mean, pardon the ash, that's like a winter frost on these knuckles. But um, the trackpad is about the size of my hand and I do not have small hands. Um, the keyboard looks a lot sexier with the new um, black filling in the middle instead of it being space gray or it just being black. Um, yeah, these keys are like, I don't know if you hear it, they're squeaky. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, also, they're back to the ever so lovely uh, butterfly hinge, not the not the butterfly hinge, the the not so butterfly hinge. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. Okay, there's no pussyfooting around it. The elephant in the room is the MagSafe three adapter and the return to the original ports. Um, original ports and meaning, or should I say, Pro ports, meaning the HDMI and the card slot. Um, other than that, the people that were complaining about the previous models about oh I need my original USB back. Sorry, bro. Not gonna happen. Um, there's multiple reasons why it's not gonna happen. Main reason being that the original MacBook Pro, or the original USB port, USB-A as it's known um, professionally, is antiquated. Um, everything uses it, a lot of things use it because it was the main bus port for a very long time, but the speeds are optimized. Oh, come on, shut up. Hold on. Sorry, uh, because the transfer speeds are optimized with USB-C, the charging speeds are optimized with USB-C, you can charge and you can transfer data at the same time with USB-C. Um, it only makes sense that they would um, update, right? Because at, that's what Apple's done traditionally, but now this applies to the tech world, the tech world as a whole. You know what I mean? It's not just Apple. USB-A transforming into USB-C is universal and it's here to stay. So that's why we do not see original USB ports on these. 
You guys are complaining about dongles. No, don't use dongles then, Dodo. Why don't you just go out and buy USB-C cables that convert to the other side of what you needed to convert to? Don't use the dongle. Buy the cable. Anchor.com, um, Anchor on um, Amazon or BestBuy.com or Alibaba or wherever you want to go. Just get with the times. Technology is ever, ever evolving and if you don't get with it, you will be left behind. Like my mom. She's not and the president, but that's neither here nor there. But um, yeah, I'm setting up the computer as we're speaking, and the setup process is pretty much uh, what it's always been, to be completely transparent with you. Um, it, I don't see anything different in terms of the um, setup experience, and it feels and looks like a MacBook. So we're here. The MacBook is open. I'm setting it up. Yippity doo. Like, what's so great? Let's, what's so great? I really can't give you guys an in-depth uh, perspective on what I think is so great about the new MacBook because I haven't put it to the test. But I will tell you that I do have my reservations because having worked at the fruit stand, plus one equals two, put it together, um, and understanding tech in a professional capacity, I've always known your CPU to have its own memory, which is your RAM, and your GPU, your, gra your graphics processor, to have its own memory, which is your VRAM, or your graphics card. Um, the separation of those two is kind of like separation of church and state, um, blending them together, as I've learned, as I've learned in my time of tech, could have always been a little muddy, a little dangerous, because there's always going to be a need for separation. One thing is going to require more power than the other, or they might require maximum power at the same time. How is that going to work? I don't know. But what I can promise you is that once I get down to my film scanning, my tethered um, portrait sessions, my video editing, my video editing, I will come back and actually give you guys um, an idea on what I think is the situation with this new 16-inch um, MacBook Pro. Not to mention. Um, you get 13 days. They tell you 14 days, but it's 13 because the day you buy counts as day one. But you get 13 days to return this thing back and get your money back from Apple. Um, but considering I didn't have a laptop before this, and I need a laptop, and the other ones are now discontinued, I'm probably going to stick with it whether it sucks or not. It's just going to determine whether or not I stick with the 32, which is what I have, 32 gigs of unified memory, or if I upgrade to the Mac 64. All right, so boom. Uh, again, I just got finished setting up the laptop. Uh, just to give you an idea of what to expect when setting up this laptop, it took a little bit longer than I expected. Um, there were a couple extra questions in there that asked me to enter a password for my laptop that was stolen um, that's still currently in um, lost mode. I feel like that was a little weird. It made me feel a little way because I still don't have that possession. That's neither here nor there. Um, but... The laptop is set up. We're here. It looks like this. But you know what? I'm going to just give you my laptop view, my desktop view. Here it is. Uh, this is what the laptop looks like. Um, the screen looks great. Everybody's talking about the notch. I'll be completely transparent with you. Half of you guys were never looking up here anyway. So let's not be picky or stupid about it, uh, but that's neither here nor there. Boom. New laptop is set up. Um, it's already asking me to set up emails. Uh, yeah. There's no real way to test the speed of this without me uploading anything yet, but there, there's one way. And this is something that we used to do as experts at the fruit stand, and that was, it was called, it was called a, a program blitz. So I'll, I'll tell you how it works, right? Um, Actually, let's let's just do this first. We'll go into our applications. We'll go down to utilities that should be here. We'll go down to activity monitor. Boom. Activity monitor lets you know how much of the computer you're using. System wise, it says it's currently using. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it says it's currently using just under 13 percent of the actual system, 22 percent of the actual user, and then 65 percent of the machine is idle. Um, the only reason I think that would be happening in this moment is because it's setting itself up in the background and there's a bunch of stuff happening. Um, yeah, iCloud is using 23% of the thing. I don't know what Bird is, but these are Apple practices. That, that's never really 
that's not really the case. So let's just focus on what we're focusing on here. Boom. Check me out. This is what we call a app blitz to showcase to a customer how fast a machine actually works back in my days at the fruit stand. So what you do is you go into your applicate, your finder, go into applications, you press command A. Command A, as you can see, all of the apps on the computer are now, um, all apps on the computer are now highlighted. And then what you want to do is double tap. Uh, maybe they changed it. Now what you want to do is double tap one of the apps. And it's going to ask you, do you sure you want to open 43 other items? Yes, my good sir, I am sure. Boom. And now you watch every single application on the computer open. Music is open. It's giving you all the notifications. Uh, oh, I mean, maps, reminders, garage band. Uh, a 390 megabyte download is required. News. Um, download now. Yeah, why not? Why not add to the load? We'll move that over. Access garage band. Do you want to enable Siri? Nah, we'll chill on Siri for right now, bro. Uh, voice installation is set up. We're going to allow access to the photos. Look at that. Just like that. I think, I think all the applications are open. Yeah. And look, you see all these little things bouncing down here? I don't know if you can see them, but all the applications bouncing down here mean that they need attention, but it's not because they're not open. All of these applications... Let me zoom back out. I'm not doing the best job with this. But all these applications are currently open in seconds. Um, given that we aren't doing any heavy lifting per se just yet, I think that's amazing. But for every single application on this new Mac to open in seconds with a download running, I think that's a sign of things to come. Because not everybody cares about the technical jargon, but... Like I said, I'll be back to show you guys or give you guys my perspective on how great of a machine this is once I get to running through the paces. And when I say running through the paces, that means shooting tethered for portrait sessions and for client work. That means developing film at home and then scanning with my DSLR tethered or my mirrorless camera tethered. That means connecting to a Hasselblad X5 and scanning through that. That means connecting to a V700 and scanning through that, and the V10,000 and scanning through that, and video editing. I have a bunch of new videos coming down the pipeline, and we'll see how this does with that on Final Cut Pro, because yes, I am a Final Cut Pro guy. And I'm actually recording this now on my Blackmagic 6K and the highest 4K resolution, ProRes as well. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I thank you all for tuning in. Um, it has been me, Mr. Come Up Town, your boy, Joe Chia. Reporting live from Comp Time Studios. I thank you for watching my unboxing. If you have any questions, or you have any comments, statements, leave them down below in the comment box. Make sure that you give this a thumbs up and you subscribe. Tell your moms to subscribe. Tell your girl to subscribe. Tell your girl's girl to subscribe. Tell your little brother, your auntie, your mother, your uncle, your love them, whoever. Tell them to subscribe because I think a thousand watch hours before you can be monetized is insane. But that's neither here nor there. Um, thank you all for tuning in. Um, I will be coming back with new videos. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your love. I appreciate your energy. Until next time, thank you for coming uptown. Peace.